Do you hear me? Comrades! Welcome back! My dogs are barking. Yeah, perfect time. But anyway, welcome back. This is uh, probably the finale uh, of Call of Duty World at War. So, this is the second to last mission. Uh, we've got to go assault the, the Reichstag. And, uh, yeah. I don't. Is, is Mustache Man dead yet in, on April 30th? I don't remember. He. He. He offs himself in May, right? Or unalives himself? Like early May, I don't remember. But anyway, uh, we're in the Battle of Berlin. This uh, we've actually finished the American campaign. Now we're just gonna deal with the Soviet campaign, which is uh, objectively just better missions, I think. <laughs> if I had to, yeah. if I had to argue. Well, I mean, ultimately, and I think I said this at the beginning of the series, like most Call of Duty games, it's just that you just kind of play through the campaign as like, yeah, eh, they made it. It's here. Yeah. Well, I mean, like, at least COD 4 and MW2 and this one, to an extent, had some fun missions. Like, I definitely remember MW2 had a lot of fun, like, cinem like you know, cinematic action movie stuff. Yeah. Oh, my God. Starting with the... Who do you think guys think you are? Japanese just throwing grenades right away? Bunch of babies? I do remember my cousin coming over and just being just like, look, you can ask to skip the mission where you murder the airport. <laughs> And I was like, we're not, we're not skipping it, Arvin. He's like, no way. <laughs> you know, and, and for the new one, um, they like advertise like, oh, they're doing it again. They're doing another no Russian mission. They're like, they had the option to skip it. And it was lame. Yeah, I, I, I haven't heard really any buzz other than that it existed. So I assumed it just wasn't good. Yeah, it was not at all like this. You didn't, they definitely like tried to advertise it as like, oh my God, we're gonna be controversial again. <laughs> Not a chance. Yeah. Who just shot me in the back? Excuse me? Also, like, a banging soundtrack. Oh, this guy did. All right, cool. Well, just, 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 just stop it. Get, get help. Oh, my God. What? How did you get back up? Who? Oh, oh, yeah. Flagman's here. Get out of here. Leave. You know what might be fun to play, just World War II style stuff? I mean, doing a run of like Wolfenstein at some point. Oh, I actually have Any never, one, really. I've never, which Wolfenstein? So the, the, the new Wolfensteins are super good, like the, the new order. Um, new order, I should say. I do also really enjoy uh, Return to Castle Wolfenstein, which is like a PS2 game. Yeah, I, I was thinking you were saying like the OG, like, run and gun. Oh, like the Doom style? <laughs> yeah. I mean, we could, we could always fit a video in that somewhere. Why not? <laughs> I, I mean, I'm, 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 I'm totes down, man. Like, <laughs> I, I've never played through those, and I've, I've been itching to play through, like, an FPS that's just kind of simple. So. Yeah. Which yeah, is, those, ones are, those ones are pretty simple. I remember I was I was gonna suggest, and if there's any interest for anyone who's listening to this episode, maybe one of the Doom games, whether it be like one of the newer ones because they're awesome, or I'd play any Doom. I I do actually personally like all of them. I do like Doom Three. I was about so. to say yeah, you wanna you wanna uh, play Doom Three like the least liked, the least liked one. However, it is one of the most talked about because of its status. So. Yeah, I remember it was so hyped when it came out. Yeah, I, people loved it when it was came out. I mean, oh, people I mean, it, it, liked it when it came out. Not oh, in the like Doom community, but I remember it was like casual general audiences thought it was like a crazy, very futuristic horror game. Yeah, I actually I never beaten that. <laughs> I've tried to start that game a lot, and I just like get bored. It it uh it has it has a very flat middle. Yeah. Yeah. Hey. Oh my God. Oh Lord, run! <laughs> Why did I do that? There it is. Uh, you know, I don't know, I don't know why, but you just doing that and then just being like, why did this happen? It's just like, I just think of the Family Guy moment where he's like, I guess it's not easy growing up anyway. <laughs> okay, so I, I think I did see a glowing satchel thing under there. Oh, well, that's unfortunate. See, maybe you. maybe there's a couple that I can patch or track, and maybe there's a couple that I have to explode like that. that makes sense. Two remaining, apparently. Oh. Um. Yeah, that man just got destroyed. Uh. Yeah, I'm sorry. My boss is texting me, so I'm thinking about the question that they just asked me. <laughs> uh. 
Probably a bad timing for that, but yes. Oh, oh come dang. on! I hate the grenades in this game. I hate the grenades in this game. I'm not the bad. Ooh. And then another one from our most recent Call of Duty. That was the most intense game of Battleship I've ever seen. You are uh, right, Goober and Stuber. It was. Yeah, Thank well, you for the comment. I, I, I like how we're doing this live. Well, you know, I take so long to do it in here. Why not do it during a video? Yeah, that's true. Maybe that'll be our shtick where we just reply to comments during the video exclusively. <laughs> where? This what? is a ploy to engage in watch time. I got <laughs> shot by the stairs. You did get shot by the stairs, I saw that, by the way. Like, did you see the gun just sticking out from the stairs? You know, they never tell you that the stairs are speaking Vietnamese, but they really are. <laughs> yeah, it's weird that they're speaking Vietnamese in Germany. <laughs> like, I, w I wish they would just go to Vietnam. <laughs> I wish that they wouldn't deal with this because I'm, I'm Soviet. We didn't have a problem with the Vietnamese. In fact, we supplied them. <laughs> All right, if I could just not get shot from the, by the stairs oh, this oh. time. Say watch out for those road nade chevrons. Oh my God. Okay, well, where? To be fair, you where? are going to at the bottom of the stairs is lighting off an automatic, so you dying down there isn't too confusing. Yeah, I, I guess. <laughs> just freaking leave me alone. <laughs> okay. Risky boys, please. Ooh, an SGG. Whoa. Oh, Jesus. Oh, Jesus. Hit the bricks. Oh. Aim down sights. Jesus. All right. I don't oh, know why. Down, but not out. He was in the animation that wouldn't let me kill him. <laughs> what am I? Sp I I'm trying to enter the Reichstag, but I can't. Stop Ooh. it. <laughs> Get some help. I might, might, I, I can't, I can't enter. The, I'm not, uh, yeah, I'm not sure you can enter from here. Maybe it's like a, like a, is that a bad guy? The position. Also, there, where, am I in the wrong spot? I don't know. Or do I have what to, is, what, what does your actual objective say? Enter the Reichstag. Oh. It, yeah, are you waiting for someone? Yeah, you're waiting for someone to do something. Oh that's my! What. Okay, well that's silly. <laughs> yeah, I mean that, that's often how these ones go. You know, you just kind of keep fighting, and then eventually you, it triggers something. Sure enough, no. Mm. Give me this. I want to stab somebody oh, with it. Why the fly? Someone. Uh, are you? Okay, well yeah, just let's just. Let, Okay, well, I guess we're not bringing the flag. Whatever. <laughs> All right, boys, we're back. I'm right. It's me. I'm Dimitri Postranko. Can you guys stop taking away my PPSH? It's the only thing that makes me happy anymore. You know? I'm Dimitri Petrenko, and I'm voiced by John Cusack. <laughs> That'd be pretty lit, actually. <laughs> I know he voices Dimitri and uh, Anastasia. I wonder how accurate this building is. Like, I wonder if they actually model this after the real Reichstag, or if they uh, just kind of threw together like general German-looking architecture and said, like, yeah, it's pretty close. Yeah, I don't know. No idea what the Reichstag looks like. Yeah, I have no idea either. I don't think it exists. Is it? I'm about to say, is it still up or? I know that a lot of the government buildings exist in Berlin right now. That ones that didn't get blown up. But they're mm -hmm. like other things, and they basically have no mention of what it was in the past, so people don't glorify it. Right, right. But I don't know about the Reichstag. Could you really? Yeah, because like, what, what does Germany do? They they teach their history, but they but they also like kind of don't keep any like memorabilia stuff. Yeah, yeah, they yeah they they're well aware of what they did in the past, and they don't keep a lot of it around. <laughs> yeah. yeah, but they're just like nah. Apart from the <laughs> apart from the actual concentration camps. I think they tore down a lot of the Nazi stuff because, uh, like, like I said before, they don't want people like, you know, moralizing yeah. it. So, which is kind of cool. It's a cool way of going about it, um, which is what uh, I'm not going to get. I'm not going to finish that statement. Yeah, <laughs> I don't want to get too political, but. <laughs> but yeah, I don't you? I don't know if the Reichstag, I'm, I'm sure that I, I don't. 
I don't know what the the main German uh what is the main German like we have the White House and like you know the capital I don't know what their capital building is called I can't remember it might if it's I don't think it's still called the Reichstag but it's something else because they they burned it right. the, the Nazis burned it down in the 30s well I mean we don't know if it was the Nazis but we know it was the Nazis they burned it down so they could have like support for their next upcoming election which basically put them in power mm -hmm. um, so I don't know but you know this is me. Maybe I'd remember it more if I didn't have gamer brain, but <laughs> my ass is like just not working. Oh my god, this pistol is terrible. <laughs> All right, boys. Oh, uh, can, I, can, can I get an automatic? I don't want a self-loading rifle. I want, I want an automatic for the love of God. Brother. Oh, you're lucky I can't shoot you in the head right now because I totally would. <laughs> Well, you want his gun or something? Yeah, I want his PPSH. He's just like, please let me have it. Don't kill me for it, please. <laughs> Ooh, Peter. This makes me just think of inglorious bastards again. Yeah. Find balcony to provide fire support. Okay. Are y'all gonna? For the longest time, I had no idea that inglorious bastards is a remake or reimagining. Uh, well, it is. Yeah. It's like, there's an old movie, I think it had uh, Robert Redford in it. Huh! From like the 60s or 70s, called Glorious Bastards. I had no idea either. Alright, so I'm yeah, supposed to... I, I saw a little bit of it. I should watch it, just, just for the sake of knowing about it. Yeah, <laughs> and how similar it is to, uh, the modern. Yeah. Because his was like, granted, it had like its Tarantinoisms, but it was a pretty freaking good war movie. Oh yeah, I mean that that opening scene with interrogation is one of the most like tense things I think I've ever seen in film. Oh yeah. All right. That is it when her and her boyfriend like burned down the theater with uh, every all the Nazis in it and just the maniacal laughter on screen. It's, I love that part. Yeah, it's it's <laughs> it's, an, it's definitely an interesting movie. Um, I just I just don't like that it's kind of ahistorical, but that's just that's just me. But it is a good movie. But it's just it's what he does. Yeah, yeah, yeah. Because I I didn't realize that um, I, what was that what was his last movie that was about the uh, the Sharon Tate murders in the '60s it was in once Hollywood? Upon a time. Yeah, he, he wrote her to live. Yeah, which I I think it's just a better ending, but you yeah. know. You can't well, really that, change that's history. Everyone, that's what everyone was like. It's like, it's okay because it's like, you know, this is how it should have been. Yeah. <laughs> yeah, that was a that was an interesting movie, too. I like that one a lot. Yeah, it's, it's on streaming, and I really need to watch it again because I saw it in theaters when it came out, and I loved it, and I need to give it its second watch to make sure that I do love it. Yeah. But considering I remember several parts of that, like, three-hour-ass-long movie, like, I think I liked it. Yeah. I remember Brad Pitt just being a total scumbag. He was amazing in that movie. Yeah. Yeah, and then you like get- Him in being high off his ass and throwing that can in that girl's face was so... the, like one that stuck with me. Yeah, that that's some funny shit. Oh my God, that's so good. <laughs> that Leo having the revelation of, of just being like, I have a flamethrower. <laughs> <laughs> and all the implications that Brad Pitt killed his wife. Yeah. And never really diving into any solid answers. <laughs> Um, was, uh, Leonardo a bad guy in that, or is he just, like, an asshole, like... No, he's not a bad guy. He's just, just a protagonist in, like, the flat sense of the word. Like, he is the character that is focused on. Yeah. Um, and he's not bad. He's just kind of a washed-up actor. He, he's based on somebody. I think it's, uh, the guy that was in a bunch of westerns. Um, ah, John Wayne. He was in John Wayne, yeah, True Grit, all that stuff. Did did John Wayne become washed up, or did he just eventually just die? Uh, he was he was his career was washed for a while. Oh, was it? I think so. Because World War II ended, right? History, right? I'm not a Hollywoodographer. I don't know. I I that is the one. I just don't like westerns to begin with. I love them. And so <laughs> like that is a weird looking that is a weird what looking is bullet case. One of my favorite things is that meme that got super popular of like uh, the woodsman looking back at the camera and smiling and nodding his head. Yeah. That's from Outlaw Josie Wales. And I was like, I know that movie. 
when that got popular. Oh, that's it. I didn't know that that was actually from a real movie. I thought that was from like a yeah. commercial. No, <laughs> it's a movie from like the late 60s or 70s. It was one of my dad's favorites, so I watched it with him a lot. Oh, oh my god, I've made a mistake. Yep. Oh man, yeah, you did. Yeah. <laughs> I, uh, I forgot that. Yeah, they're almost like from two different franchises. Yeah, as well, one's James Cameron and one is Ridley Scott, so. Yeah. Yeah, it's true. And James Cameron can't do a horror movie to save his life. Nah, he's, I mean, to be fair, if he's doing what he's good at, it's really good, because Aliens is great. Yeah. Has James Cameron actually made a horror movie? And um, this, oh, that's a great question. That man's uh, hand is through the magazine down there. That's, oh, so is that guy's. Huh. Called a strong grip. Oh, jeez. Oh. Oh. War crime. Take a shot every time there's a war crime. Is that a war crime? Yeah, I don't know. They were unarmed. Yeah, but you know they wish they were unarmed. Oh, that... <laughs> you, you, can't, you can't argue that in Geneva. I'm sorry. <laughs> You're being charged with first degree murder. It's just like, yeah, well, I bet that guy wished he murdered me. That's got to be like second degree, right? <laughs> like that, that's got to be not death by hanging. That's just got to be jail time, right? Be some kind of manslaughter. <laughs> <laughs> All right, excuse me. I mean, the, the laws on that are always so strange because it's like, you know, burglar breaks in your house, they fall down their stairs, break their neck, and they can't walk anymore, and then you get like, you know, over the edge. You have to pay for it. You're in trouble. For only some states. Nevada's got sound and ground laws, so if somebody walks in your house and you're like, get out and they don't leave, you can just shoot their ass. Unless it's a horse. <laughs> I'm not kidding. A horse could break into your home and you can't do anything about it. You have to call uh, the DNR. <laughs> because if they are... Somebody register this animal. No, seriously, you would have to call uh, somebody. Otherwise, uh, you'll get in big trouble because they're a protected species in Nevada wild horses That's crazy yeah you could shoot a person with no repercussions but if you shoot a horse holy shit oh okay so like if i don't if i just sit here i could hypothetically shoot people forever but i won't do that because i don't want to <laughs> all right so the, the mg guy laying into you right yeah like probably he's got unlimited ammo probably yeah I can't hit him. Okay, that's just bad game design. I'm sorry. <laughs> Making an enemy pretty much invincible just because you can't hit him. That's crazy. Also, unlimited ammo is kind of bullshit. Can you throw a molly at him? Sprint? Sprint? Why is my sprint not working? Why was my sprint not working? Can I just not run? Am I too fat? Am I a fat little girl? Don't let the MG guy know you're here. Oh, I guess he just died of a heart attack. Cool. Yeah, so it's like kind of like just advance on him thing. Yeah. I don't know how you beat that in veteran, but... Oh, well, ow. Oh. Retrieve the Russian flag. What is it? The... Oh, there you go. Oh, so the red... Oh, this isn't yeah, the respect. Russian flag. This is the Soviet flag. Check it in that guy's stump. kind of want to. Oh, here we go. I think we just beat the campaign after... Oh, ow. Oh, you're a loser. You're a loser. Oh, he's about to get me clean. You're a loser. That was a uh, violent way to treat that man. Yeah. You can make it, my friend. Um, it's just like, dude, there's a hole in me. It's, well, it's only a nine millimeter hole. Probably, probably could survive. Dude, the nine, the nine millimeter hole is the one that's making you freak out. <laughs> not the hail of oh. MG bullets. Yeah, not the MG42 that just completely destroyed me. <laughs> yeah. Nice. Yep, that is the Soviet flag, not the Russian flag. Interesting. The All right, heart can... of this army can never be <laughs> Is he just gonna butcher you? I was about to say, can you, can you, can I have a bandage, <laughs> please? It'd be really funny if just no matter what, just every Call of Duty, like, people just keep betraying each other. And we did it. Wow. And, uh, I think that's it. 
And so, thank you so much for watching. Uh, it's been a it's been a series. Yeah. Uh, so thank you so much, and uh, we'll uh, we'll see you next time.